What does it mean to find ourselves in the midst of God's harvest? A couple weeks ago, I began a sermon series called Here We Go, finding ourselves in the midst of God's harvest. And here we go is one of those phrases that I really enjoy using. In fact, my son, Kaysen, often will use that same phrase. And today, he wanted to go on a little adventure around our neighborhood, do some walking as we find what he calls nature and he takes a box and he starts collecting things that he finds on the ground different sticks and stones and pine cones and leaves and all sorts of different things from nature that he collects in the box and as we were going around we were trying to find the largest leaf and of course which is really a little tough this late into fall as most of the leaves are starting to scrunch up a bit but we did find a what I think is a pretty big leaf for this time of the year and as I reached down and I picked it up and as I looked at this leaf I began to realize that that deep sense of the sacredness a deep sense of the spiritual that deep sense of holiness that deep sense of grace came over me and I realized I am in the midst of God's harvest it's not so much about where we're going out there oftentimes just realizing that in the middle of going here that we're in the midst of God's harvest. And I, I want to challenge you right now to think about where are you at? Who are you with in your life? Where is God leading you in your life? Where is God put you? I think of my own self that, you know, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a pastor, I'm a stranger, I'm a friend, I'm a neighbor. I'm a human being living in the midst of God's creation. I find myself in the grocery store line. I find myself getting gas. I find myself walking past strangers. In all of these places, I think that's exactly where God's harvest takes place. Those are the places that I find often where God is giving me the most and deepest sense of the sacred, of the spiritual, of grace. And so right now, I challenge you to figure out where has God placed you? Who are the people that God is putting around you in your life? What is that deep sense of creation, that deep sense of the wind and the sunshine and the neighborhoods that you live in and the place where you're at that God is working in your life? Perhaps it's right there where God's harvest is going to take place. Perhaps it's right there where that deep sense of the spiritual, where that deep sense of grace becomes overwhelming and flows over you. If for some reason right now in your life you are not feeling that deep sense of harvest, that deep sense that God has you right where God wants you, I challenge you to take a moment, to take a breath, to look around, to grab the leaves, to enjoy the sunshine, to find people in your life that will minister that deep sense of grace, that deep sense of sacredness to you. If you have a hard time finding that, I ask you to seek me out because I would love to chat with you. I'd love to talk with you about this deep sense of grace. If perhaps you're looking for a church this Sunday, I know of one. Come out to Grace Presbyterian and Highlands Ranch. We would love to minister that sense of grace, that sense of harvest to you. Hope to see you on an upcoming Sunday. Thanks.